What's up everyone and welcome to Rig of the Week, the series where I try a Rig of the Week. I, I don't really have any plans for this series other than putting me onto the seat. Put a guitar amplifier, a guitar in my hands, a couple of pedals maybe, and just see what happens. And for today's Rig of the Week I'm playing this Jackson Pro Misha Mansour HT7 guitar and a Huge & Kettner Black Spirit 200 amplifier. Talking a little bit more about this guitar, uh, this is uh, crafted in Indonesia it's a uh, caramelized maple neck don't know if you can see that looks like this so i guess it's sort of roasted and the poplar barrel as you can see these are jackson pickups locking tuners that's the back of it the black spirit i've actually already made a video of the black spirit but here it is again it was a long time since i tried it out so i'm gonna try it again and see uh, if i can make it sound good or not so that's what it is rig of the week this black spirit goes into my mesa oversized cabinet that's an m160 microphone this is an sm7b short microphone okay <laughs> So the Black Spirit is kind of like a, you know, everything in one box type of amplifier. I mean, it has all the effects that you need. It has a noise gate, so... <laughs> that works really well. And then you also have a bunch of other things. I mean, you have reverb, you have uh, delay and feedback uh, modulation so if you want to add a chorus or delay or something like that you can easily do this with the small little amplifier <laughs> Resonance. And then you have the FX access button. If you press it, you have access to the different effects right here. So so now the noise gate dial right here will act as a reverb instead. Yes. Ah. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. Take off the feedback a little. Oh, lead maybe. I think that the ultra sounds like the most open. It 
it's nice and crunchy I must say I don't know if this is a feature or something like that but right now on the ultra channel when I dial the treble and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dialing the treble right now it adds treble but it removes mids listen now it's on max listen as I dial it down not sure if that's a bug or something like that maybe it is now the treble is at max it's like a reversed mid knob for some reason I don't know what that is is that the same on the other modes? no on the lead part it works but here on the ultra it very mysterious I don't know what that is seems that the mid knob is working all right I have to be a little bit careful when I tune this down to A because this string is a 54 from factory which is probably a little bit too thin so I have to be really careful not to hit too hard yes I'm really liking the sound of this guitar sounds better without the boost right sounds great I mean I think what I like the most about this amplifier is basically that you have everything that you need in it it might not be comparable to the absolute most monstrous tube amplifiers out there but I mean look at the size of this I can hold it like that and it's not going to be a problem for me in my strong arms I mean the guitar is just really bare bones workhorse material right here it's working really well I must say yeah I'm really liking the guitar it's probably the same specs that I would have put on a 7 string it's probably 26 and a half scaling uh, and uh, yeah it just feels good man so there you go that's a really good week for you I'm not really sure maybe there's an update out for this little treble thing that was happening on the treble knob here uh, maybe there's a firmware up there or something like that that I'm not aware of anyway that's a huge and Kettner Black Spirit 200 this is the Jackson Pro Misha Mansour HT7 guitar and you've been watching Rigged Week congratulations you made it to the end <laughs> great thank you so much see you next time bye